Welcome back. The grave of Eugene Williams, a 17-year-old black teenager who was the first victim of the Chicago race massacre of 1919, now has a marker thanks to a group of Chicagoans. BNC's Eric Cox explains. One, two, three. Coming together to commemorate the first victim of one of the worst race massacres in American history, more than 100 years after his murder. The Chicago race riot of 1919 was part of the nationwide rush of racial violence known as the Red Summer. Researchers believe in a span of 10 months, over 250 African Americans were murdered by white mobs that never faced punishment. Their blood is on, a, is on a stain of America. And no matter what you do, that stain is gonna be per permanent and embedded in American history forever. Tammy Gibson is a black historian dedicated to delving deep into our nation's past to put African American stories on display for people today. Even though the massacre happened over 102 years ago, we're still going through it today. And it's important that we get our young men and tell them how important they are. Gibson says in order to make this event a reality, she spent years learning about Eugene Williams. On July 27, 1919, the 17-year-old went swimming on a raft with friends at a segregated beach in Chicago. He drowned after a white man threw rocks at him when their raft drifted past an invisible line into the whites-only area of the water. The teen's death and the lack of justice that followed sparking a week-long race riot. My mother was nine years old when this happened. Nettie Skurlock says her mother and the rest of her family moved from Mississippi to Chicago, hoping to escape racism and hatred. But when Williams was killed, those hopes were dashed. After that, she said, you know, the white people just start burning down everywhere and there was a lot of mayhem and fighting. My mother said at nine years old they were so traumatized, she and her siblings, because they had never seen anything like that in Mississippi. And coming to Chicago, they had not expected to see that kind of uh, race rioting. Homes were destroyed, dozens were injured, and 38 people were killed. 23 blacks, 15 whites, including Williams, who was buried in an unmarked grave, untouched and barely remembered for over a century, until Gibson and others formed a committee to keep the teen's legacy alive. So this just resonated with me. This is what I needed to do. David Browning says the committee raised well over $5,000 to finally give the teen a grave marker, Dozens attending the ceremony where the headstone was officially unveiled, honoring the first victim of a dark chapter in Chicago's history. I'm proud to, to be a part of it, you know, and I'm honored that we could uh, finally memorialize him in a proper way, and, and this will be here for eternity. Well, his memory will last forever, and he will, be, he will rest in peace and dignity. In Chicago, I'm Eric Cox for BNC. More Making the Case when we return.